10, 8, and 3. So you have your 10, 8, and 3. I, I assume you know how to quickly do, uh, you know, what you call uh, 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 LCM. But, you know, now you are already in 10 standard. You should learn how to quickly solve LCM because you can see there is nothing common between 8 and 3. So there is nothing common. You just need to worry about 10 and 8. But when you look at 10 and 8, you can clearly see there is only one thing common that is 2. 2 into 5 is 10 and 2 into 4 is 8. So you can clearly see 40 is the LCM there. So 40 into 3, you can see 120 is the LCM. So once you know 120 is the LCM, you know to make this 120, I just need to multiply this with 12 and divide this with 12. Right? Same here, 120. What, what do I get? I need to multiply with what? 15 and multiply this with 15. What about this? 120 means I need to multiply with what? 40 and 40. So that gives me 120 is your denominator. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Yes, yeah. sir. So 12 into minus 7. So it will minus 84. Then you have you have 120 in the denominator. 5 into minus 15. That is minus 75. And you have 120 here. Therefore, 2 into minus 40. So it's, sorry, minus 2 into 40 is minus 80. So that clearly tells me that uh, which one is uh, lesser out of this? Lesser negative is lesser, right? Or lesser negative is higher. Mm, lesser negative is higher. That means uh, this will be the highest, right? So you will write the highest number on this side. So what is this? This will be the highest, right? In terms of value. Right. Yes, so, yeah, yeah. so that is nothing but what? That is nothing but minus 5 by 8. So your minus 5 by 8 is here. Then you have, what is the next thing that will come in? That will be minus 80 by 120. Minus 80 by 120 is minus 2 by 3. So that will be here. And then you have your minus 84 by 120, which is nothing but minus 7 by 10. So that's the order in which you get your answer. So please check with, if all the answer, everyone got the same answer, minus 7 by 10. I, I, minus, got, it, I got it right, but I, I got that answer, yes, minus 1 over 10, minus good, 2 good. over 10. Good, yes. good. So is everyone good as of now? Wait, no, this is the wrong answer though, because it has to be 2 over minus 3 and 5 over minus 8. What? What, Arjun, what is your question? I said it, this is a wrong answer, though, because it has to be 2 over minus 3 and 5 over minus 8. It's the same. The denominator is originally minus. Negative. No, that's fine. It doesn't matter, right? 2 over minus 3 or minus 2 over 3, the value is still same, right? It is. Yeah. But you want to write it like that way, you can write. So you can lead. I mean, this implies that you want to say that as from the given question, you want to write it as minus 7 by 10 is less than, sorry, yeah, minus, less than your 2 by minus 3 and less than 5 by minus 8. You want to write like that? Please go ahead and write it. Not a problem. Okay? Is that good? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So let's go further. Now, I want to see how all of you will behave with if there are tough questions on this. Basically, fundamentally, this is this is done. I mean, we are done with this particular concept. But if you want to learn a little more, so let me give you a little more. So let me give you some random numbers. You tell me which uh, put them in the ascending order. Okay. So let me give you 4 by 7, 8, uh, eight by 13. Six by eleven. Yeah, calculate which of which one is greater. I mean, put them in the ascending order. Put these three numbers in the ascending order. Four by seven, eight by thirteen, six by eleven. Uh, for Indian exams, there is this this number is interesting. One thousand basically that's multiplication of seven into eleven into thirteen. You know seven. 13 or prime numbers so you see a number like 1001 the your 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 bell should be ringing that is 
should immediately get to know that it's multiple of 7, 11, and 13. This is something that you can remember in your lifetime. Yeah, good. So go ahead, Kirtana. And I did it in like the next usual step. So well, the next step is what you did is you multiply uh, 4 by 7. You know that you multiplied this with, uh, you know, 11 into 13 in the denominator and multiplied with 11 into 13 in the numerator, right? So yes. you got the common denominator as 1001 and uh, you calculated. What is the numerator that you got for 4? 4 into 3, 12, 12 into 11, so 132, right? Kitana, go ahead. It's not 132, it's 572. No, sorry, 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 sorry. 11 into 13, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, what's the number? 572. Sure, 572. 572. Very good, 572. So you got 572 here, and what about the second one? 16. How much? 616. 616. And what about the third one? 546. 546. Okay, so from here, what did you get now? You know that, of course, this is the highest, and this is the second highest, so you know this is the second highest and this is the third highest. So you will start from this. So you know 6 by 11 is less than your uh, 572, which is 4 by 7. And that should be less than um, 8 by? 8 by 13. 8 by 30. Perfect. Okay. So do you want to learn any faster method than this? Yes, sir. Yes, really? yes, yes. Okay, so let's learn the faster way of solving this. Okay, good. All of you concentrate now. When you're solving, now concentrate. So now this is a very interesting way to do it. You know, whenever you have something like this, say for example, in this question you have, let me take a different method now. Your problem is 4 by 7, 8 by 13, and you have 6 by 11. Okay, so what happens is generally, when you do by, so whatever the method that I'm teaching you is once again, it's an arithmetic process method only, but I am doing it little differently. So I want you to concentrate, understand. Okay. Now, I don't want to put all the, so here, so, you know, before even I go there. So let me, let me explain this with a easier example first, then we'll come back. Okay. So let me go to the first problem that we did in this process. What was the first question that we did? We try to check which is greater, 2 by 3 or 3 by 5. Correct? Yes or no? Yeah. Right? So we wanted to check 2 by 3 or 3 by 5. Okay? So now you can observe here, what did we do? We multiplied this 3 with 5 and this 5 with 3. So basically, if you observe, what we are doing is we are just multiplying the denominators. So if you observe, we are actually doing 5 into 2, 10 there, 3 into 3, 9 there. So you can see I am multiplying the denominator of this fraction with that number and this fraction with that number. So basically 5 into 2, 10. You can see I got 10 here. On the right hand side, 3 into 3, I got 9 there. You can see I got 9 out there. So then we are saying that 10 is greater than 9. So 10 is greater than 9. Therefore, we are saying that 2 by 3 is greater than 3 by 5. Can you see that process what we did just now? What I'm trying to tell you here is we are not doing any LCM. We are doing just cross multiplication. So what we are saying here, let's observe everyone. Take a look at this. So when we have two ratios, concentrate, everyone, please concentrate. Now, if I have two ratios, which is X upon Y, I have a ratio X upon Y, I have another ratio A upon B. I am saying I will cross multiply. That means I'll multiply this with this. I'll see what is this. This will be B into X. I'll cross multiply this A into Y. I get AY. Now I observe this between BX and AY. If BX is greater than AY, that means this side of the ratio is greater for me. Therefore, I'll immediately say that X by Y is greater than A by B. How many of you understood what I said? If you have understood, mention yes in the chat box. So it's basic cross multiplication. That's how you find out the Correct, correct. Hold, hold. What I'm saying, I'm, I'm asking how many of you understood what I taught you just now. Just mention yes in the chat box quickly. Wonderful, Kirtana. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So if you understood this, if you understood this, you can see in this problem also, if you look at, you had another problem which we did. The problem was 
you had 7 by 15, you had 7 by 15, let me use a different pen here, 7 by 15, and you had to ch check with 4 by 9. So I am saying, I'll just do the cross math, 9 fours are, 9 sevens are 63, 15 fours are 60. Then I immediately see the number on the left is greater, that means your 7 by 15 is greater. That's my answer. No problem, Akshar. No problem. How many of you understood this method very clearly in your head? If, if you have not understood, stop me here right away. Right away. I learned this in sixth grade and I totally forgot about it because I never knew I had to learn no. it again. <laughs> no problem. But if you learn how this is to be done, then, you know, if you understand the approach, then you will never forget this. Yes, that's, what, yeah, that's what I'm trying to teach you here. Okay, let's get back to the question now. Let's get back to the question. Now, when I look at these two, so first I quickly compare the first and the second because it's easy for me to compare. Uh, but that is a kind of difference here because they are prime, like prime numbers. So because of, because, no, it's, it's not only about prime. I am saying any situation of uh, three or more variables when we have, it's easier to check like this and it is faster. Let me let me quickly understand. Sure. Make your, yeah. Akshat wants you to re um, repeat what you did. Oh, okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. Akshat. Okay. 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 Let me take one more example, Akshat. Then you will understand what I'm saying. Let me take an example of, I want to compare two ratios, say, 3 by 5 and, say, uh, 7 by 13. Okay. Now, basically, I'm saying, Instead of actually, what do we do? We do, we take the LCM and we were doing, we'll multiply this with 13 and this also with 13. We multiply this with 5 and this also with 5 and say that this is 13 threes are 39 by 65. And this we say 7 fives are 35 by 65. Now when we do this, we realize that this is greater. Therefore, we know that 3 by 5 is greater than 7 by 13. This is the method that we learned in arithmetic process, didn't we? Yes, this is what yes. we learned. Now what I'm saying is instead of doing that, the new method that I'm trying to explain is if I have a ratio 3 by 5 and 7 by 13, what I'm trying to tell you is just cross multiply. Cross multiply, matlab, just multiply the denominator on the right hand side with this numerator. So you are just multiplying this 13 threes are 39 five sevens are 35. By doing that, what you're doing is you're, you're checking the numerators now because you know you're making the denominator common. By just multiplying like this, you're making the denominator common. So you're just get, getting to your numerator quickly so that it's easy to compare and say that 39 is greater than 35. Therefore, your three by five is greater. That is the method. Okay, Akshat, if you still don't understand, don't worry. You can watch this video separately once again. Okay. So now if I explain you more examples, you'll understand. Concentrate now. So when I look at 4 by 7 and 8 by 13, I can quickly see that 13 fours are, 13 fours are this, this way. I'm doing this way. 13 fours are. What is 13 fours are? 52. And I'm doing 7 eights are 56. The moment I yes. see this, which one is greater? 56 is greater. Therefore, I know that 4 by 7, 4 by 7 is less than 8 by 13. So I got the first one. Now the question is, how do I get the next one? So now, now it, you can you can compare. See, whenever you have three numbers, whenever you have three numbers, you need not compare with everything. You can pick up any two. Now, now I'll pick up these two now here. Now between eight by thirteen, between eight by thirteen and six by eleven, let's compare these two now. Sorry, six by eleven. Okay, so. Can see how do I compare this quickly now? 11 eights are I can see when I'm comparing these two. 11 eights are on this side is 88. 13 six are what is 13 six are? Six tens are 60. Six threes are 18. 60 plus 18 is 78. So which one is greater? Which one is greater? So I know 8 by 13 is greater. So I get to know that 8 by 13 is greater than 6 by 11, right? So one thing is very clear that 8 by 11 is the highest, 8 by 13 is the highest. 
but now we still not figured out the relation between 4 by 7 and 6 by 11 right so, so now what is the relation so now what's the relation between 4 by 7 and 6 by 11 that is also not difficult just take a look we have 4 yes. by 7 and 6 by 11 i'm explaining so it's taking time but trust me it is a very easy problem 44 and 42 this is 44 and this is 7 6 is 42 which is greater 4 by 7 is greater so four that seven, means yes. yes so you now know that 8 by 13 is the highest and the one little less than that is 4 by 7 and no. uh, yes is and it 6 your, by 11 no 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 4 by 7 is greater yes yeah. greater. then you have your 6 by 11 and that's how you can decide the answer 